this is the fourth uh, year nine game design lesson. Now in this lesson, we're going to see if we can program new levels. So we'll have a look at the theory first of all, and then we'll have a look at programming uh, new levels in our scrolling game. Now, for it to be successful, what we'll want is our program that we've, or our game that we've already developed up to um, lesson three, just to be finished off with progression. So that as we get more points, the backgrounds change and it appears that we are going into new levels. So a new level is simply a new background. And the idea is that we start off on a particular background, we get five points and it changes the background to the next one that we uh, painted in our stage. And then we get to 10 points and we change the background again. So that's the, the theory behind um, changing or, or changing levels and having progression in our game. It's very straightforward. So how can we program this? Well, everything happens in the stage. That's really key. OK, so if you're looking for certain scripts, if you're trying to develop a, a, the coding in, a, in the sprites area, you've got different scripts than when you're in the stage. So we're going to be focusing on the stage um, today. So when we start the game, we're going to switch to background one. That's key. OK, so we've got a background that we've already drawn. It's got a name in this case, backdrop one. And we click the green flag. We switch to that particular backdrop. Then what we can do is we can have um, a, a script in our program that is constantly checking to see what the score is. Now, if the score is five, then what we can do is we can broadcast um, a message. And what can then happen is we can have another script that is always listening out for that broadcast. And the moment that that broadcast happens, as you can see here, we're gonna to switch to another backdrop. And in this game, uh, this way, sorry, the game will appear to progress onto different levels. Now, another thing that uh, you might want to do is change the ground on the second level. So you've got the scrolling um, ground at the moment, uh, two sprites that move from the right hand side to the left hand side but if we wanted to we could actually create two new um, sprites and we can code them exactly the same as before but the difference being that when the green flag is clicked we hide these sprites and we only show them when the level 2 broadcast occurs now of course what we would have to do is make sure that when the level 2 broadcast occurs in our original ground sprites, they would need to be hidden at that time. So they would sort of swap, um, if you like, from view. So let's see if we can program some levels in our game. So here's our game that we uh, had developed from lesson three. And we can fire out bullets. And if a bullet touches a particular uh, baddie sprite or the baddie sprite it disappears we get a score and the baddie then gets reset into a random location over on the right hand side so let's see if we can uh, get some progression in our game at the moment i've said when the green flag is clicked switch to backdrop one well there is only one backdrop at the moment so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate i'm going to make it a little bit darker get a darker blue and I'm also going to make the Sun go down a little bit and then I'm going to duplicate again and this time we're going to make this be the nighttime level so let's get some black and this can become the moon and we'll just change the color of that slightly and what we'll then do is let's put a few stars in the in the sky as well there we go okay so i've got backdrop one backdrop two and backdrop three so when we start the game we want to go to backdrop one what we can then do is we can have a script that's constantly checking to see what the score is so we can say that it is forever checking if the score is equal to let's say five. What we can then do is we could broadcast a message. 
and that message is going to be level 2. What we can then do in the stage is we can say that when the stage receives level 2 it can switch to backdrop 2. Now you're probably thinking why are we using a broadcast script why don't we just put that in there. Well of course that would work okay when the score is 5 it would change to a different background but if we want other scripts for example different land sprites to uh, respond to that different level then it would be good to use a broadcast because then those scripts can also be listening for the moment that we hit uh, level 2 and we can program those other sprites and other game elements to uh, to do something differently at that moment so it's always worth doing a broadcast script well let's just test to see if this works first of all so I'm definitely on level 1 I've got no points at the moment that was lucky Getting three four points and five points okay so definitely we've gone on to a new level which is great now the land at the moment is the same well I'll come back to that later on let's see if we can go and program another level so let's duplicate this one and this time we're going to check to see if the score becomes 10 now if the score becomes 10 we're going to broadcast a different message this time level 3 and let's duplicate this and let's say that when the stage receives level 3 we change to backdrop 3 so we go to level or background 1 when we start the game it's checking to see if it's 5 points it's actually this one's working as well checking to see if it's 10 the moment it gets to 5 points we're going to broadcast level 2 that's going to then be picked up here and we're going to switch to backdrop 2 this will constantly check to see if the score reaches 10. If it does reach 10, then we're going to broadcast level 3. And when we receive that broadcast in the stage, it's going to switch to background, background 3. So let's see if this works. So, 1 point, 2 points, 3 points, 4 points, 5 points. That was good. There's another one, another one. Let's see if we can get on to the nighttime level can't get this one let's have a look nope there we go and now I'm on to the nighttime level so that's working fine now at night time you could argue that these uh, the land or even when we're on backdrop number two perhaps the the green of the land is a little bit too bright so what I could do is I could duplicate sprite one and I could duplicate sprite two which in this case are the two land uh, sprites. Let's go to the first one and let's change the costume slightly. Let's make it fill a slightly darker color as it might appear with less sunlight. Okay, so that one's done. Let's do the same over there. Now let's go back to our coding. Now remember, we want these ones to be hidden to begin with then obviously we would need to use the hide script so both of these when we start the game are going to be hidden but they are still going to be moving as they should be but what we want is for them to appear when we receive the level 2 broadcast and we'll do the same over here. So when we receive, when that, when both of those brownish land sprites receive level two, they're going to show. They're still going to be moving. They were moving from the start, but they were hidden whilst moving. But when level two broadcast occurs, they're going to show. Now, what's important is that we then, at the same time, these green land sprites that are moving to the left hand side that would have been shown from the start, we need to make sure that they hide when we get onto level two. So we must make sure that we add our hide scripts with the broadcast hat. So now let's have a little test of this. So I've got zero points and we got green background scrolling at the bottom. And I'm not doing very well here. Still only got one point. Okay, three points up to the top four points and five points and you can see now that the background's changed but also the land has changed now when we get onto 
level three. Obviously, we'll still have the darker land and that looks fine as well. Now, little things that you could do, if you wanted to, throughout the levels, you could actually increase the speed of the flying objects. At the moment, their speed is set to however, whatever the value is um, in this move script. But what I could do is I could create a variable, and this is just an extra, you don't have to do this. This is just to uh, see if you can improve the, the progression, make it a bit harder. I could create a speed, can't spell speed, speed variable. And what I could do is I could, when, I, when we click the green flag, we could set the speed to something like six. And instead of moving 10 steps, we're going to mood, move the value inside the speed value. So at the moment we'll be moving six steps. So level one will be pretty slow. But what we can then do is we can say, okay, well, when we receive level two, in other words, when that broadcast occurs, when we go on to level two, we could actually set the speed to something else. We could set the speed to something like 12 and it'll go faster. And again, when we go to level three, we could set the speed to 15. And it just means that every level, that flying object's gonna come in faster and therefore it's gonna be a harder game. So if I click the green flag to start, you can see that that flying object is going much slower than it was before. So easy for me to get these now. And now it's going faster, much faster. Eight. Oh, didn't get that one. Okay, and now look, they're, they're flying in really, really fast. The speed's gone up to 15 and they're moving much, much faster. So that's just a little addition that you could do to uh, see if you want to uh, make um, your game a little bit harder as it goes through the levels. So have a little bit of time to see if you can create different backdrops, program them to appear at different times of your game uh, to make sure that it appears as though you're progressing through the game, making it more fun to play.